No, not very good. Now, there's a couple reasons why a player such as Dak Prescott would get a second opinion or a third opinion or give it, send scans to an expert and have him just kind of read it. Let me know what you think. The, the reason is they do not know. And really, what we're talking about here, Tom, is is it going to be bad, which it already is, or is it going to be really, really bad, which would mean Dak Prescott having surgery and likely being out for the season. And I would say being out for the season is already a possibility because I know how to read a calendar a lot of times. Not all the time, but a lot of times. If Dak Prescott is going to be out four weeks, and he is, Stephen Jones said he's going to be put on IR, then that takes him, let's see, today is November 8th, that takes him to early December. If he's out six weeks, it takes you to the middle of December. That is almost to the end of the season. And unless Cooper Rush is going to be Dak Prescott or the Cooper Rush from 2022, uh, then the Cowboys may be out of it by then, and then there's no way you're going to bring back Dak Prescott anyway. So really what we're talking about here, Judy, is is it going to be bad or really, really bad? And then are we going to see the Cowboys star quarterback for the rest of the season? I know Stephen Jones said they're doing what's best for Dak. My understanding is there's really not any choice here. It's not like he wants to play and they're like, it's a bad injury and he's not going to play for a while. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk. Right back like I never left. What's good with y'all? Happy Friday evening. How y'all feeling? Hope y'all like my new jacket. I love this joint. Y'all might be seeing this a lot because this bad boy fit nice. You know what I'm saying? But before I get started, let me say um, shout out to my channel sponsor, BetUS, where the game begins. Listen, if you're into sports betting, that's your thing. Go get with the best. Let them take care of you like they take care of me. Let's talk Cowboys Eagles. It's a lot of questions going in this game. It's a lot. And I want to play a game for anybody that watches this, man. Uh, listen, little, 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 let me talk to y'all, not at y'all. So I'm going to ask a couple questions. I would love for your answers in the comments. Let's have a little dialogue, you know. So whenever you catch this video sometime between now and the game, just write your answers in the comments if you, if you want to follow along. First question, Cowboys fans, do you want to win this game? I know that sounds crazy. Like, are you asking us if we want to win? Yes. Do you want to win? Because, I mean, it, the implications for winning at this point with the season being three and five, most people will say, why would you just give up on a season with nine games left? Well, right now your quarterback's going on IR. That's at least at least four of the next nine. That would leave five games left. Let's say Dak misses six because it's four to six week injury is what I've been hearing, right? That will leave three games left. Why would you bring back Dak Prescott with three games left if you say, for instance, won two of the next six? We would be five and what? Five and nine. Five and nine? You really want Dak to come back and play? Now, Dak would because Dak is Dak. But why would you do that? especially when you start to really assess your draft pick value. I think the benchmark, the goal of Cowboys fans at this point, something that we feel like we can actually win is draft positioning. And I know that sounds crazy because you're like, yo, CFT, draft positioning, that's what we're doing? Listen, answer the question, do you want to win? Do you want a higher draft pick or do you want to beat the Eagles? I'll answer the question myself. Although I asked that question, I want to beat the Eagles. I am petty and I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, look, I see us winning three more games max. Three more games max. That's just me. Maybe we win more. Maybe we win four. But I can see us winning three more games max. That would put us at six wins, six and 11. Maybe seven and 10, but six and 11. I think six and 11 gets you a top 10 pick. If we're going to get three more wins, I want one of them to be against the Eagles, whether it's now or in, in Philly. Just because I'm petty, just because I would love to beat the Eagles when we down, when we injured. And that's what I'm going to get into my next subject. I would love to beat the Eagles. So my, my answer to the question is yes, I want to win. But my question to you is, do you want to win? The other question, do we have the horses to win? Do we have the players to actually beat this team? Seriously. Michael Parsons is coming back, but 
Is that enough? We still don't have a full secondary. We've been playing with a third or fourth strength, like literally practice squad players in our secondary because of injuries, you know, because of injuries. And my other question is, before I get off into my next subject, do you think that there's a possibility that Jerry fires Mike McCarthy if we lose enough games? Because I do. Do you think so? Though? I think that Jerry is doing this thing where every week, He's doing something to keep our interest. This week was Jonathan Mingo. It's Listen, it's real simple. Go to betus.com, set up a profile. It's real simple. The interface is dope. It ain't hard to do. You're going to get personalized care. Use code YouTube150. Get a 150% sign up bonus for up to $2,000. Trust me, we're going to be all right. Go to BetUS, set up your account. Put a little bread on the Cowboys, or don't, or bet against the Cowboys. Either way, Bet US gonna take care of you. Remember, 150% sign up bonus, code U2150. Let them take care of you like they take care of me. I'll holla. It's a trade. Just please stay interested. Next week, if we get blown out, it'll be, we gonna use Trey Lance. We gotta see him now. Out of nowhere, we gonna have to see him. So within a week or two, it'll be Trey Lance show. They'll give Cooper Rush about two weeks, maybe. Maybe. If Cooper Rush just looks in, like incompetent, they'll roll Trey Lance out there for two weeks. And then if Trey Lance just fails and we just looking so bad and people is really checking out to keep the media's interest, he'll fire Mike McCarthy. That'll gain him a week or two. In this. So that's about six more weeks, probably about two weeks on each subject to keep people interested. Two weeks of maybe Cooper Rush can win it. Two weeks of let's see what Trey Lance can do. Two weeks of Mike McCarthy's fire. I said we got nine weeks left. By the time we get to the end of that and there's three weeks left, maybe, check out the time release, maybe Dak will be coming back. And then the, th the talk for the last couple of weeks is like, should Dak play? And then the season will be a wrap. And we can start talking draft positioning and then we'll be in every conversation because the Cowboys in the top 10 is good for business. So, yeah, that's that's how the rest of the season will go. And I'll flesh this thought out. But it'll probably be about two weeks of Cooper Rush, two weeks of Trey Lance, two weeks of Mike McCarthy fired, three weeks of maybe Dak will play, and then draft talk. But let's talk these injuries, man. Seriously. The injuries is what broke this season. People say, don't make excuses for the losses. I'm giving you reasons to why the season is broken. You can just lose when you partially, full, no one's full strength, but when you got major injuries, and answer me this question, what team you know gets injuries to every star on their team and they're supposed to win? Every star, including the quarterback. Dak Prescott's been injured this year. De'Ron Bland hasn't touched the field. Sam Williams has been hurt all year. We lost Demarcus Lawrence. We lost Marshawn Nealon, a rookie that was supposed to replace some of our other edge rushers. We lost Micah Parsons for five weeks. We lost Brandon Cooks for multiple weeks. CeeDee Lamb is playing through injury right now. He ain't 100%. Every single star on this team has been injured. Except for knock on wood, please, Jesus, Tyler Smith who I don't know if it's considered a star. He's just a really, really, really good all-pro tackle. I mean, I'm guard. As we speak right now, heading to this game, Deron Bland is ruled out. Dak Prescott's ruled out. Michael Parsons is questionable because he hasn't come back yet. I'm saying he came back like he already started. We hope that he's going to play this week. Eric Kendricks is nicked up because he got a shoulder. And Tyler Guyton. Oh, no. Zach Martin is nicked up. He dealing with, I think, back issues. And now Tyler Guyton is dealing with shoulder and back issues. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to hear, yo, stop making excuses. Everyone has injuries. Not everyone has every injury, everybody on your team injured. Everybody? Everybody nicked up? Like, come on, dog. At some point, I'm allowed to say, yo, the injuries derailed the season. This isn't one or two injuries. When you've had injuries to the quarterback, the top receiver, the second receiver, all four edge rushers, Corners, linebackers, not D-tackles, but offensive guards, offensive tackles. Like, at some point, it's like, yo, man, all right, this ain't our year. And no, not that this ain't our year as far as we just ain't supposed to have success. 
So the injury is just, it's just been crippling, man. It does. And you start to realize, you start to think, who should really play? Should I just, just you know, go in and get some rest? Tyler Guyton, the, the new game for me, although I want this win, and I know I should be talking, maybe in the live stream tomorrow, I'll talk about how we can win, because I do want to win. If we're going to get one or two more wins, let one be against the Eagles. That would be so dope. I just rise up and beat the Eagles so I can just laugh. It's it's improbable, but it would be funny. Um, you got to start watching certain things because right now you got to assess who you need to keep on this roster. It's a lot of one-year deals. Who you bringing back? Because I feel like Osa's gone. Osa's gone. I feel like we might move on from Mozzie. Straight up, this real talk. Um, you got to see if Guyton can play. You do. You got to see if Guyton can play. Can he play? You might need to start working Bass in there and seeing if he can help because Zach Martin's probably going to retire. Like, it's some real question marks. You need to get Mingo on the field and, and see what he got ASAP because I think the receiving core is going to look completely different. I think Flournoy is safe. I think Mingo is safe because of the trade. I think Jalen Brooks and Tobert, Tobert might fall down the, 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 the rung. He needs to start playing better. So y'all need them quarterbacks to play good because you're auditioning now. Yeah, it's an audition. I think Schoolmaker going to get moved on from. I think if you're going to reassess and rebuild this team, ain't nobody safe unless you got big contracts. But listen, those are my thoughts right now. The questions going into the Eagles game. Injuries have definitely derailed this team. And I'll ask again before I wrap this video up. Before I wrap this video up. Do you want to win or are you worried about draft position? Again, shout out to my channel sponsor, BetUS, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate y'all. Cowboys fans, man, I know this season ain't go like we wanted it to. Y'all know me. I'm Captain Optimus, Optimus Prime. But you don't always just got to be happy about one thing. Optimism can be pointed anywhere. It's all about perception. And right now, we might just have to point our directions at next season and start getting optimistic about the fact that Jerry might be shamed shamed into making moves yeah he won't just do it on his own but a season this bad with this many people checking out jerry gonna do something because he don't want to lose us uh -huh.